Hello, young explorers of Tales from World, where each story brings a sprinkle of magic to your day. Today, grab your cozy blankets as we embark on a twinkling tale called Tommy's Night Under the Stars. Ready to discover the mysteries of the night sky with Tommy? Let's soar into the adventure. Last night, something magical happened. My dad had a big surprise planned for me. We live in Massachusetts, and he told me we were going on a late night adventure. I was super excited. I even skipped my bedtime story. As the sun said goodnight and the stars began to twinkle, Dad and I sneaked up to the rooftop of our building. It was a bit chilly, so I zipped up my jacket all the way and put on my favorite starry night cap. Dad set up a cozy blanket for us to sit on and handed me a warm cup of cocoa. The sky above was a giant canvas, dark and vast. Tommy, Dad whispered, as if he was sharing a secret, tonight is very special. We're going to see something amazing called the Northern Lights. It's not something we usually see here in Massachusetts. I sipped my cocoa and stared at the sky, waiting for something to happen. But what are the Northern Lights, I asked, my curiosity growing as big as the moon. Dad smiled and began to explain. The Northern Lights, or what scientists call the Aurora Borealis, are like a magical light show in the sky. They happen because of something called a geomagnetic storm. It's like the Earth and the Sun are talking to each other with lights. I imagine the Earth and Sun sending colorful light messages across space. How do they talk? I wondered aloud. Well, Dad continued, the Sun sends out a burst of energy and particles, and when they reach the Earth, they light up the sky. These lights can dance in all sorts of colors, green, pink, purple, and sometimes even red. Just then, the sky began to change. What was once just dark blue started to swirl with green and pink. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was like watching a painter splashing colors across the sky. Look, Tommy, it's starting. Dad pointed excitedly. We watched, our eyes wide with wonder, as the colors twisted and turned. The lights are strongest closer to the poles, but tonight they're so strong we can see them right here. I asked Dad why the lights were dancing. He explained that it was the Earth's magnetic field that made them move. It's like the Earth has a big magnet inside that helps pull the colors across the sky, he said. We sat there for what felt like hours, just watching. The sky put on a show just for us, or so it seemed. Dad told me that these lights weren't just beautiful, they were a reminder of how amazing our planet is and how there's still so much to learn. And the best part, Dad said, as we packed up to go back inside, is that the sun and earth keep talking, so one day we'll see them again. I went to bed that night with dreams of dancing lights. It wasn't just a night under the stars, it was a night I got to see the earth whispering with lights to the sky. The world is full of wonders, and nature's most beautiful secrets are revealed to those who are curious and patient. Keep looking up and keep asking questions because the sky is just the beginning of the adventure. Wasn't that a stellar journey, friends? Tommy loved sharing his night under the stars with you. He's whispering a little secret now. He'd be thrilled if you joined us for more stories. Just hit that subscribe button and share this adventure with your pals so we can all gaze at the stars together in our next tale. Remember, every share and subscribe brings us closer to more magical nights. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your hearts full of dreams.